But first tonight, our top local story on Eyewitness News at 11, a local man seriously burned in a house fire. It was breaking news on Eyewitness News at 6.30, and Eyewitness News reporter Al Mall is live with the latest from the Providence Mobile Newsroom. Al? Well, Elizabeth, that fire happened just down the street. You can see it. It's lit up right down there right now. Now, firefighters say it started on the second floor, and they say that it took about a half an hour to knock the fire down. The fire broke out around 5.30. When firefighters arrived, they say they encountered heavy flames and thick smoke. The firefighters made an aggressive interior attack, located a male victim, 42 years old, second floor hallway. We moved to the extra area of the building, building, and he's been transported to Rattler Hospital. Firefighters aren't sure how the fire started and say the victim was the only person home at the time. That victim received second and third degree burns and is now fighting for his life. He was unconscious. Uh, smoke inhalation, had some burns, so it was up part of his body. People who lived in his house must now find somewhere else to live. Darnell Ortiz, his mother, owns the house. He and four other people live there. I, I stepped out to go to the store, you know, and I got a phone call that the house was on fire. Came right away. Jeff Healy lived in the basement. He is concerned about his neighbor and thankful he's alive. But now he also worries about where and how he will live. It's just a damn shame. It's just a damn shame. I mean, I'm glad everyone else got out. You know, it's just like things are tough anyways, and this doesn't make it any easier for any of us. Authorities have not released that victim's name, and tonight there is no word on his condition. The cause of the fire is still under investigation. We're live with the Providence Mobile Newsroom. Al Nall, Eyewitness News. Tonight